Hello everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video, we have learned how to start sending signal to the other users. But in this video, we are going to start creating our WebRTC clients. So to do that, I'll create a Java class called WebRTC, WebRTC clients. And I'll also create two other classes. First one is my peer connection observer. And it's going to implement the peer connection dot observer. Let's implement the required functions. Also create another class called my SCP observer. And it's going also to implement the implement SCP observer. Let's implement all the functions here. So let's go to our WebRTC client class and let's start with creating our constructor. So WebRTC client, first thing we need the context, then peer connection, that's observer, and string of username, observer. So here we want to store the context, private final context and using this dot context is equal to context and then I wanna store my username type string it actually could be final as well is equal to username and then I wanna create a function of of type void and it's going to be named in its peer connection factory to initialize our peer connection factory so using peer connection factory class we want to use initialize and pass the options to it so let's create our options and the value is going to be peer connection factory that's initialize option that's builder class and pass the context to it then set field trials to web rtc dash h264 high profile slash enabled slash and then set enabled in set enabled internal tracer to true and then create initialize options and pass the options to my peer connection initializer factory so i want to call it here then i want to create a function that returns a peer connection factory named create peer connection factory so we will create peer connection factory option named options it's going to be new peer connection factory options we want to add disable encryption to false and disable network monitor to false as well and after that return peer connection factory dot builder and set video encoder factory to new default video encoder factory and it's going to need a context of type egl based context so let's go up here and create a private egl based context and name it egl based context it's going to be egl based dot create dot get egl based context and pass it here egl base and pass true and true then set video decoder factory and set new default video decoder factory and pass egl base context to it set options pass the options and create peer connection factory simple as that so right here we want to create our peer connection factory object so let's go up here and private peer connection factory and right here 
I wanna initialize my peer connection factory using create peer connection factory. So now it's time for our peer connection itself. Using peer connection, I'll create a object of type peer connection and I'll create a function private peer connection and name it create peer connection and simply return peer connection factory object and create peer connection but it's going to require two variables first is i server and then next one is observer so we will receive the observer here peer connection dot observer and for the i servers i'll copy and paste my i server here like this and here i'll add a configuration to my i server list like this this is a free username and password and a turn server for you and do not forget to choose the turn server that accepts this tcp package if you want to uh, start the call inside the cellular networks since in the most cases cellular networks doesn't accept the udp package you should uh, transfer the data using tcp packets so use the turn server that accepts the tcp packets and right here i'll just pass ice servers to it and after that here i'll initialize my peer connection using create peer connection factory and pass observer to it okay so now that we are ready to create our peer connection let me separate them in different sections this section is for initializing peer connection section and in this section i want to create a new section called initializing uh, ui like surface view renderers and then another section for negotiation section like call and answer so in this section i want to create a function called uh, public void in its surface view renderer this function will get a surface view renderer as the variable and it's going to actually initialize that surface view renderer to work with so to do that using view renderer i'll set enabled hard scaler to true view dot set mirror to true as well and then we init it as egl base context and for view renderer we call we simply pass null to it and then after that i want to create two other function the first one is public void init local surface view it's going to get a surface view render and public void init remote surface view and same goes for this one in case of initializing remote surface view we want to simply pass init surface view renderer render red not the render red renderer and pass view to it and for our local we also want to init surface view renderer and pass view to it and then create another function called start local video streaming and passing this view to it so let's create this function which will start our local stream and prepare to start a video call and to start streaming our camera we are going to create a function a private function of type camera video capture which will provide us the camera capture that starts recording our camera and send it to other peer so using camera to innominator we'll create a new object of it camera to innominator and pass the context to it then get the list of device names is equal to 
gets device names and for each device name in device names we'll check if Inuminator is front facing and pass the device name to it then we want to return Inuminator create capture and pass the device name to it and for the events handler or just pass null to it and here it has to be device name not device name sorry it has to be device otherwise if didn't find any camera name called front then we want to throw illegal state exception and pass front facing camera not found so using this get video capture we'll go back to start local video streaming let's create a surface texture helper and initialize it using create function pass the thread name i'll simply pass current thread dot name for the context i'll simply pass egl base context and now it's time to get our video capture object i want to create it globally private video capture or camera video capture of video capture let's go back here and initialize our video capture is equal to video capture then we want to initialize our video capture pass the helper to it context and we need a local video source to get capture observer so let's go back up here and create our private video source of local video source i'm gonna need audio source as well local audio source and let's create their track ids private string local track id is equal to local track and then same goes for local stream id and this one is going to be local stream so we're going to need our video track and also audio track let's go back to our constructor and initialize our local video source using peer connection factory and create video source pass the false as screencast same goes for local audio source using peer connection factory create audio source and just simply pass the new media constraints to it so let's go back down here and using local video source dot get capture observer and after initializing our video capture it's time to start capturing using dimension i'll use 480 360 and 50 fps and then local video track is going to be initialized here peer connection factory creates video track for the id i'm gonna pass local track id plus underline video and for the video source we'll simply pass local video source and then using local video track i want to add sync to my local view and preview the current track inside my view now it's time to create my local audio track it's peer connection factory create audio track for the id i'll pass local track id underline audio and local audio source for audio source and now it's time to create our local stream which i don't have here i'll go back up here and create my local or media stream named local stream down here i'll initialize it using peer connection factory create media stream and pass local stream id then using local stream add 
track i'll add both video tracks and audio track and then using peer connection i'll add stream and pass local stream to it okay so now we are ready to initialize our ui like surface view render and we also prepared our peer connection to start a call to each other but this video is already too long so on the next video we'll start writing negotiation functions to start a call and answer and interact with other clients so till the next video see you everyone